Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> Thanks for checking in again. Um, today, I'm gonna have a video for you guys. Um, it's gonna be a few videos put together, but um, what I'm gonna be doing here is taking apart my um, drop Fear and Forge um, Falcon here, the titanium handles, and I'm gonna be trying to anodize it. So, um, or something with it, try to mess with the handles or do some custom, or maybe the pocket clips and the, uh, the back spacer here. So, um, I'm going to take it apart, and then, um, you know, I'll see what um, what else I can add to the video, guys. So I bought some equipment a while ago. Um, let's try these out first. This looks like a T8. Yeah, that's a T8. And then we have ourselves a T7, maybe? Nope. And that's a T6. So um, what we're going to be doing today is um, taking apart the blade. And then um, I'll just show you guys what you can use to do that. And then um, what I'm going to be doing is, well, that's a little tight right there. Oh, maybe that's a T7. No, oh, T7 is not fitting in there either, guys. Uh oh. Let's see what we have here. This guy's a tiny guy too. Oh, this one's more snug. Oh yeah, this one fits. Maybe my T6 is uh, stripped. Oh, I'm a little sad about that if that's the case. Let's take a look here. It's a little dulled down, I guess. Yeah, it's a good thing I have this guy handy. This is the ring doorbell screwdriver stock. You guys haven't seen this. Anybody who has one of these guys. Hopefully I'll speed this video up just so you guys know how to look. Sorry again, sweaty hands. There it goes, just have to get it loosened. You get it taken apart. And obviously having sweaty hands does not help Guys, maybe even stripping the screw might. Uh, stay tuned. Back again. <clears throat> Finally got it off with the light stripping, and um, I guess I messed up by uh, just holding tight here. What I did was I started moving this guy, and it scratched the frame a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to try messing with this guy anyway. So when anybody trying to do that to their Ferrum Forge um, Falcon, just beware. Do not fiddle around. If you can't get that screw out, just be patient. I'm a little impatient. But yeah, uh, the screws are here on the side over here, guys. Uh, titanium hand, the, the clip, pot clip. I was actually thinking about getting one of the flatheads in there and then just uh, going in at it by an angle, you know? But let's go with the T8 now, guys. Should be the T8. Yeah, the T8, guys. So, here's a knife in case you just want to see without the pocket clip. Beautiful. But yeah, this would be the experiment blade. We'll see how it goes, guys. Again, um, this guy's like 100 bucks on drop, so take a peek. And just stay tuned. I'm going to start trying to take it apart and hopefully... Don't mess more shit up, I guess. This knife fits pretty well. Maybe a 9 might even fit in there. A 9 kind of fits in there. Nope, it'll be an 8. A, little, a loose 8. Like an 8.5 might be good, I guess. It's very loose. There we go, one guy. Let's place it over here so we can see. And these are the pocket clip ones. For you guys to see. I guess this will be a little easier. This is very light, by the way. I like don't even know I'm holding it, honestly. And, uh, you can see the bushing. Push 
maybe part that part comes out. Nope. Okay, so that's a lesson to be learned. And now let's get that guy out. Luckily, this one's not as tight as the uh, the pocket clip, because that pocket clip, oh my goodness, guys. Luckily, the, the length is different, so you know which one's which. And I believe the, um, you can see here, they're not all the same length. So the longer one, let's take a peek at these guys, just so you guys can see. So even the pocket clip screws aren't the same length. And looking closely here, it looks like the shorter one was the uh, was this one right here, and the longer one's going to be the the upper. Sorry about that. The longer clip is going to be the upper part, and the shorter one will be the bottom part. But um, yeah. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Oh, this is for um, the other side. If you guys wanted to do a a left hand, I said I guess. But yeah. Um, Let's see if this guy comes out. I see the blade is already uh, jiggling, getting his little jiggle on. Uh, bearing out. There you go. That piece goes here. Take this guy out. And the bearings. Pretty awesome to see the inside of this guy, huh, guys? Oh, look at that thing go, huh? That's cool. So, yeah, uh, that's how you take it apart. Sorry that took so long and I had to pause the video, but uh, stay tuned. And, um, We'll start uh, polishing some uh, backspacers and uh, pocket clip first. And um, if I end up doing a decent job with it, I might end up moving on to the handles or I might leave the handles. I'm not sure yet. So um, stay tuned. More to follow. And um, yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, I just wanted to add a little video here. Just as a little add on. So this is just the, um, the titanium it came in. Same coloring. Not without any sanding done yet. And here I started on. Um, with some 120 grit and I'm gonna be moving up a little bit it's a little hard to get the corners right there you can see but uh, I'm gonna move up a little bit this is uh, 120 I'm gonna be moving on to 320 I think or 300 it'll be 320 I'll be moving from 120 to 320 and I'll have another video posted um, shortly just to show you how it looks compared to the um, the original coloring here I can see the little scratches or lines in them. But yeah, stay tuned, and I'll add another one soon. What's up, guys? So this is 320 sandpaper. I just finished sanding it. Here's the, uh, the finished product. Didn't clean it, though. I just sanded and took a little paper towel and just wiped it down real quick. And here's the other one, pocket clip. So you can see the lower grade, the, the higher grade paper you're using, the more, um, the less, uh, I guess, the less lines you see running in there. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to go higher again. So now we have ourselves done the, uh, the 600 sandpaper. See, it's uh, starting to look a little nicer. Again, I didn't really clean these off after I finished sanding them. I'm going to move on to, I think, um, 800, then 1200, and then I'll be back. But this is the uh, 600 we just finished. All right, here we have, um, I just finished doing 800, and then 1500, I think, or 1200, and I just finished doing 2000. So um, this is what it looks like after sanding. Very quick. I think I must have been like three to five minutes each or something like that but yeah they're looking really good you can barely see um, the lines here now you know so 
Yeah, that, that's how we have it, guys. So, um, stay tuned. More to come. Here we have the show side that will be starting on the 150 grit. Just finished up with the 120, 150, excuse me. And we'll be doing the 320, I think, or the 300. This is 320. So we'll be working on the 320 now. Just finished with a 320 grit. Stay tuned for iron one, all right? Here it is after 1800, 15, and 2000 grit. And I'm gonna start polishing. All right, guys, now we're doing the pocket clip. Polished already, too. That's going to be going in. <clears throat> Aiming for like a purplish or gold. If you take it out now, it's like a purplish, which looks good. I'm digging it. You got to let the uh, crystals build on top of there. Again, I didn't mix this with a wink or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to see how it would go with um, just high sanding, high sanding paper and polishing. Uh, so far, it's pretty good. Again, you want to avoid touching the negative over there. Otherwise, you'll cause an arc and it'll leave marks on your your product. And again, if you look at the backspacer in the back right there. Not the backspacer, excuse me. You look at the uh, pocket clip in the back, you see more bubbles coming out of there because I didn't highly, I didn't sand that too hard. Uh, only the front I did up to like 2000 grit. And the back there, I think I brought it up to like 800 only, maybe 600, just because um, it's going to be underneath and you can't see, so I wasn't going for too much. But yeah, there you go, have it. The color for this guy is a, a dark purple. Ooh, this is actually really nice. That's what I like. And then for the other guy, the backspacer here, maybe we'll dip that back in and see if it'll go back to that color if I leave it in there a little longer. So again, let's have it go back in. It's still bubbling, so let's uh, let's get it going. Need to pay attention to it. Looks pretty good. That looks good, guys. Stay tuned. More to come. First time anodizing. Looks pretty good. Do a little chip right there. The overall came out pretty nice. First time, guys. Stay tuned. Now you place it in the WD-40. guys this is the front show side I did myself and then we got the back where I did blackened with the blue pocket clip purplish and the backspacer it actually changes colors a little bit every time your hand is on there you can see pretty cool there it goes. Hope you guys like it.